What is going on, y'all? Robert Sykes, KetoSavage.com, coming at you with a little biohacking blood glucose regulation management update. So, I've got, uh, I'm obviously, I'm not a diabetic, not type 1, not type 2. I've taken a keen interest in what my blood sugar and ketone levels are. You don't need to obsess about this. In fact, I've got to put this disclaimer out there. You can simply follow a ketogenic diet, get things dialed in without pricking your finger, tracking blood, all that good stuff. However, if you are prone to experimentation and just curiosity and want to see how certain things impact your markers, then by all means, totally geek out over this stuff, which is kind of where I find myself. So I've got multiple continuous glucose monitors. I've got, um, I've kind of tested to see how different ones work. I've got the BioCoach monitor. I've got the uh, Freestyle Precision Neo monitor. You can just pick that one up at Walgreens. I just bought the uh, keto mojo monitor and I may do a standalone video kind of comparing these three monitors and how I use those later because uh, I want to most talk about CGMs with this video so these glucometers you have to prick yourself test your blood sugar you you probably know how that works the CGM continuous glucose monitor you do not have to constantly prick yourself. You simply put it in your arm. Uh, there are two popular brands that have been marketed to the general public that is not within the diabetic community, diabetics as well, but uh, you see a lot of people in the keto space wearing these. That is the Freestyle Libre, which is a 14-day CGM. I've done that before. You've seen me make content on that before. I went through NutriSense as the company to get that CGM and get that data. Uh, with CGMs, you oftentimes have to have, you pretty much always have to have a prescription from your doctor to get one. So through NutriSense, you go on, you fill out an online form. They basically are able to wrap that script up into your profile, send you the CGM. It lasts 14 days, and you replace it and move on to the next one. Uh, Levels is another company doing that same thing, but a little bit differently. Uh, so NutriSense, one of their big selling points is that they offer... Uh, consultations. They have a nutrition expert that you can get in contact with and they can help answer some of your questions, which is great. But I don't really need a nutrition expert because I am the nutrition expert. Not, not trying to get cocky here. Uh, but I wanted to get the levels sensor because they have the Freestyle Libre as well, but they also have the Dexcom sensor. And I've always wanted to try the Dexcom sensor. Uh, I feel like it's a little bit more reputable than the Freestyle. Maybe I'm wrong in thinking that. Uh, but they're typically more traditional prescription basis through primary care physician. However, Levels, I guess, recently started doing this study. And if you signed up to be a part of the study, then you could get the Dexcom sensor. So I went on, I signed up, created an account, uh, opted in on the study, and now I've got my Dexcom sensor. So I'm a little excited about this. I just made a Levels account on my phone, downloaded the app, and I am going to open this up for the first time and try and apply it myself and show you all how it works. Uh, these are a 10-day sensor, unlike the Freestyle, which is a 14-day sensor. So it's like a monthly subscription with them, and they sent me three, so you just replace it every 10 days. Uh, but again, I am doing this real time. I have not looked up any of the directions on how to do this. Probably not a wise move on my part. Um, but we'll just work through it together here. So Chip, my fancy media guy, may have to cut through some footage as we get this figured out. All right, start here. G7 shows your glucose information on your display devices. Sensor and application. All right. During the setup, we'll show you how to use the applicator to insert the built-in sensor under your skin. The sensor sends a glucose reading to your display device every five minutes. Sensor lasts up to 10 days with a 12-hour grace period. Overpatch. After you insert the sensor, you must apply the overpatch to keep the sensor on your body. During the setup, use the sensor insertion instructions found in the app or use the inserting sensor below. Okay, setting up the app. Get started. Scan the QR code or Android. Uh, download the app. Did that already. Open the app. Log in. Create an account. Did that. Follow instructions for setting up the app. I also did that. Uh, for insertion or for instructions on inserting the sensor. Follow app instructions or use inserting sensor below. 
after inserting sync and pairing. Okay, so inserting sensor. That's all in Spanish. I'm not even going to try and read that one. Um, choosing a sensor site, you want to use the back of your arm. Uh, age seven years or older. Avoid areas with loose skin. Yada, yada, yada. Clean and dry. Wash hands, soap and water. Unscrew cap. All right, let's just get into this here. So they got alcohol swab. Put that on the back of my arm. Good to go there. Uh, unscrew the cap. Don't touch inside applicator. Don't use if damaged or previously open. Okay. Unscrew the applicator. Okay, there's the applicator. Relax any muscle near sight. Press and hold applicator firmly against skin until clear safety guard is pushed in. Then push button on side of applicator. There's the button. Okay. This is always nerve-wracking, but it never hurts, so I don't know why it is nerve-wracking. So, push in. Then push the button. Wowzers. All right, so it should be in there. Good to go there. That is quite the spring system in there. All right, y'all, it is the next day. Had some technical difficulties there in getting it set up. Like I've said before, I am the worst about reading directions beforehand. Sometimes I probably would benefit from doing so. But I got the CGM in place. It is there. I like the cool little patch. It's black. I like black, as you can tell. Uh, but I made a few mistakes, so I'm going to save you all the headache, read the directions. Uh, but then when you get the Levels app, you have to sync that with the Dexcom app. I didn't realize that, so I was trying to sync something that wasn't syncable because I hadn't yet downloaded the Dexcom app. So, download the Dexcom G7 app, which is what this is, the G7 model. Uh, set that up, and then that'll start pulling in your information. Right now it shows my... Glucose is 103. I just got done working out, which is why it's elevated. Uh, and then you can also calibrate your CGM via a glucometer. So I also have a glucometer. I did a finger prick. It asked you for an input, and you can put that as just simply a glucometer finger prick or use as calibration. So I did that. I've got those synced up. Keep in mind that with CGMs, it is measuring interstitial fluid. So there's oftentimes a lag time between what that shows of about 20 minutes versus what the glucometer shows. So again, keep that in mind. But now that I've got my Dexcom app set up, I have that now synced with my Levels app. So now it's pulling in that information as well. And the cool thing about the Levels app is that you can, there's a whole library of different information topics, how to improve glucose levels, how to stay mentally and metabolically healthy, uh, there's all kinds of tabs in here, informative tabs. You can look at your data. You can sync it with your nutrition tracker, your macro counter, uh, your sleep tracking, all that good stuff. I've got multiple wearables and data points. I've got my Aura Ring. I've got my Garmin watch. I now have a CGM in. I've got my glucometer. Uh, I've got my Withings scale uh, for body fat and body weight. And what I do for my own sanity's sake, I get my macro trackers, is I find apps that then sync with Heads Up Health. And I'll probably do like a deep dive in Heads Up Health and kind of show you behind the scenes of what that looks like. But that way I can pull all of my data into one spot and be able to look at it plotted against one another to look for correlations and tease out certain patterns, which is cool. I like that. Um, so this video basically is all just to introduce the fact that I have a CGM in that is the Levels brand CGM. I might do a follow-up video after it actually starts pulling in more data, and I can show you all some you know, trend lines over time. But I do like that with Levels, they send me three sensors. They last 10 days at a time. Uh, they're all the Dexcom G7 sensors, and then I can basically just have that set up as a subscription so I can have a CGM in you know, pretty much every day throughout a month and then keep doing that recurringly as I see fit. Now... Again, I'm not diabetic, not type 1, not type 2, so why would I benefit from this information, especially since my macronutrient targets and food choices are all staying pretty much the same. So as I 
transition out of this reverse diet and into more of a slight surplus for my building phase, I am going to incorporate different types of foods, different quantities of foods. Um, and I'm kind of just curious to see how that affects my blood sugar levels. Plus, I'm going to try and optimize my sleep more, which is going to have an impact on blood sugar. Stress obviously has an impact on blood sugar. There's just a lot of factors at play. And I just simply like having the data. You don't have to wear CGM. You don't have to become, you know, like super in tune to what your feedback is telling you if you're happy with your composition happy with how you're feeling but if you want to tease these things out if you want to dive deeper if you want to learn more then by all means take advantage of the opportunities and do so uh, so yeah that is what i've got going on now with the levels cgm experimentation i'll probably write about this on my newsletter i'll probably talk about this on another video but that is the introduction of me applying it how it's applied what it shows all that good stuff thank y'all for tuning in <laughs>